There's an opportunity here now for us to mount an offensive. We've concentrated on harassing the enemy's flank, draw strength away from the British. However, it appears now, excuse me, that we could split the Africa Corps, drive through Rummel to the sea. I'm sorry, Bill, but that territory's been reserved for General Sir Bernard Law Montgomery. We're supposed to let him win this one, no matter how long it takes him to do it. They're entitled to have their hero. After all, Montgomery did push Rommel clear across North Africa. What about the Americans? Don't they need a hero, too? Do you have anybody in mind, George? Excuse me, sir. Air Vice Marshal Cunningham is here with General Buford. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Well, I ask our British friends what's happened to our air cover. Round one coming up. Harry? Over. How are you? Very are. George, good to see you. Uh, George, you know Arthur Cunningham? Sir Arthur. Delighted to see you, General. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, uh, it appears there's been some slight misunderstanding here, and uh, I thought that we ought to get the whole thing straightened out. No, no, no misunderstanding. We're supposed to have Allied air cover, and we don't get it. German planes are constantly strafing my troops. If I may say so, General, I'm afraid your operations reports are inaccurate. Reports? Three days ago, the crowds took off after my command car, ran my ass into a ditch. My staff has assured me we have complete air supremacy everywhere in the Mediterranean. When I complained about lack of air cover, you said our troops were not battle-worthy. You spoke of the... Uh, discredited practice of using air force as an alibi for lack of uh, success on the ground. That's bad enough I have to wet Nurse Montgomery. I don't have to stand for that. I sincerely apologize for that remark, whoever made it. And I promise you one thing, General. You will see no more German planes. Discussing uh, air supremacy, Sir Arthur. I could find the Nazi some bitches that are flying those things. I'd give them each a medal. <laughs> 